Hi everyone. Today we have a demonstration of uh, our Dynan EFIS, which is the square box on the left, the Stratix EFIS display, which is in the center on an S4 Samsung telephone, and on the right we have a large tablet that's usually my uh, GPS uh, moving map display, but it's presenting a VAERS PFD display. And uh, we're going to do some straight and level, some turns, some climbs, some descents, and we're going to see if there's any difference between them. Then we're going to try some uh, quick uh, rolls. Um, what you're seeing right here is that if, if you hold a steady bank ankle, a lot of uh, gyro instruments will drift slowly drift back to, uh, to zero. So right now we're seeing that the uh, Stratix is doing a really good job of holding the same bank angle that the Dynan is showing. We're also seeing that the Avair PFD is uh, taking the Stratix data and displaying it, so um, I would expect it to stay in the same angle that the uh, Stratix PFD in the center is doing. They're both working off the same data. The Stratix receiver is mounted behind the seat on my right, and it's uh, calibrated, and it's uh, set to be level and set for no drift. And we're doing a full 360 degree turn here. We're rolling back to level now. Now we're going to try a slight climb, I believe. We're seeing that the level holds steady between them. There's your climb about a, oh, not quite five, five or so degree climb. It's indicated the same on all of them, even though the Stratix, P, Stratix display um, doesn't really show that the, the climb degrees are much tighter on that one. So actually the, the Avair PFD does a better job on indicating the climb. Here we're going for a descent, same kind of deal. Uh, the Stratix um, display, the, uh, the angles of climb and descent are a little tight. They could tend to open that up a little bit. Now let's try some fast turns here, some high rate turns, and bam, uh, they're following really well, the Dynan. Remember, the Dynan is our gold standard. The fast turns, you want to see that the, uh, the other EFIS displays keep up with the turn rate. And they did keep up very well. We're still level. Okay, we've been flying about 15 minutes now, and I've been doing a bunch of turns and yanks and banks and climbs and descents, and uh, now I'm back flying level again, and uh, the test is to see if these things have uh, kept their level status and not drifted. Well, this recording is uh, after we've come back and bounced it down the runway and landed and uh, taxied back and rolled in, and I realize this is a tail dragger, so... What you're seeing is the uh, pitch is pitched up, but uh, all of the displays, even after landing and, and bouncing around on the taxiway and the way back, have, uh, have remained stable. So uh, all in all, excellent test. So one note of warning with the Stratix, if you lose GPS lock um, while you're in anything other than straight and level, um, the information on the EFIS is horrible. So... Uh, and it's not latched in that you've lost it. You could lose the GPS lock and not know about it, um, that you didn't have uh, 
terrible EFIS data. So that's something I'd like to see Stratix fix. Otherwise, it uh, does a darn good job.